Hello, I'm Michael, a product specialist here at Red Quartz Software. In this video, I'm going to give you a tour of Virtual Time Clock and answer some of the common questions we hear from people as they're evaluating the software. First, I'm going to show you how the software generally works, then how an employee clocks in and out. Next, I'll show you how to log in as an administrator, and from there, add and edit entries, run reports, perform payroll approval, and configure time clock settings. The first thing to note about Virtual Time Clock is that it's desktop software that you download and install on your computer. And it can be launched like any other normal computer application, which is typically by clicking the icon in the dock on a Mac computer or a desktop icon on Windows. When you first open Virtual Time Clock, you'll be looking at our in and out board that instantly tells you the status of all users in real time. Now in all of our editions of Virtual Time Clock, you can customize which columns are displayed. And in our Pro and Network Edition, you also have the option of using either a PIN or passcode interface. When using the in and out board, clocking in is as simple as finding the user's name, clicking it, and selecting Start from the Action menu. If passwords are turned on, you'll be prompted to enter it at that time. To clock out, follow the same process. Click the user's name, select Stop, and enter your password. It's that easy. If a user would like to access other time clock features, they can do so by clicking on their name and selecting Open User Status. This will open their individual user status window, and by clicking on the drop-down menu, they can see their time card, add notes or out memos, use the messaging feature inside the time clock, or view other reports available to them. When users open their time card, they'll see a report that shows their regular hours, any daily or weekly overtime, and total hours for the week. In addition, the report is configurable and unpaid and leave hours can also be shown on the time card. Virtual Time Clock has the ability to flag users who appear to have forgotten to clock out. When using the in and out board, users who have been flagged will be displayed in red and there will be an X next to their name. The next time the user attempts to clock in, they'll be presented with a missed clock out screen. In this screen, they'll be asked to estimate their previous stop time. Once this information is entered, it will be added to the entry for review by a manager or an administrator. Having reviewed the user side of Virtual Time Clock, we can now log in and check out all the administration features. To turn on administration, select the file menu, click Turn Administration On, and enter an administrator's password. You'll probably notice that when in administration mode, the view is very similar to our in and out board, and it allows for real-time status of all the users. However, across the top now, there's an administrative toolbar with additional features and functions. Now that we're in admin mode, the first thing we can do is take a look at how to edit entries. To do so, click Entry Editor in the upper left-hand corner of the admin window, then, once the Entry Editor is displayed, choose Select Entries in the left corner of the Entry Editor window. From here, you can select the person and the date range of interest. Once the selected entries in your range have been shown, you can edit them by just double-clicking or by selecting Edit Entry in the top of the toolbar. Let's go ahead and review that missed clock out that we saw earlier. We'll notice that in the Entry Editor, it's displayed in red. We can double-click it to bring up the modification window. From here, we can set the actual stop time and deselect the stop error box. From there, we just click Save, and then we can close the entry editor. Should someone forget to clock in, the administrator can easily clock in for them by clicking on their name, selecting the time they showed up, and clicking Start. In addition, should you ever need to manually add an entry, you can do so by clicking Add Entry in the upper left-hand side of the administration window, you can select the username, add any relevant information, hit create, and then select save and close. In the admin toolbar, you can also select my reports to show common reports like the time card detail, worker leave, or accrued and used leave reports. You can also edit which reports are quickly accessible from this icon. In the admin toolbar, you'll also see the payroll approval button. By clicking on this, you'll bring up our four step payroll approval process. From the payroll approval window, you can view detailed hours of every employee. You can view their time card and make edits. Also note that entries that are either added or modified by the administrator will be flagged on the report. 
Once your review is complete, you can sign off the time cards, run a payroll report, export to a payroll program that we integrate with, and then close the payroll period. To configure time clock settings, select the configure gear in the upper right hand corner of the administrative toolbar. This will take you to the time clock's control panel. From here, you can change the configuration of your time clock. This is where you can add users, set up your overtime rules, select your payroll settings, and also change the time settings of the time clock. And once you're done with all your administration tasks, you can go ahead and turn administration off. You're once again ready for your employees to clock in and clock out. If you'd like more info on virtual time clock, including how to install the software, or to learn more about the differences between basic pro and network editions, then go ahead and visit us at our website at redcourt.com. Or feel free to give us a call and talk with a product specialist. Thanks.